Well, maybe you saw some of them. Hundreds of volunteers hit the streets this weekend to map out hot spots around Oklahoma City. But as News 4's Tanner De Leon explains, with the hiccups in our weather, which usually occur, they face challenges they weren't expecting. Right, Tanner? That's exactly right, Kevin. The triple-digit heat that we thought we were going to see this weekend, it was going to be primed for a perfect day of heat mapping. Instead, maneuvers had to be made in order to get the data they needed. It was very challenging. We stayed in close contact with National Weather Service Norman all day, uh, as well as our consultant, Kappa Strategies. Heat mapping volunteers had to add a task to their agenda over the weekend of dodging the rain in order to get the data the city needs to map the hot spots around the metro. Those who did have a little, a uh, few sprinkles, basically what they had to do was stop the car as soon as they could safely and then pull the equipment inside the vehicle so that it couldn't get wet uh, or so that it wouldn't get wet. For those that ran in the rain, all they could do was wait it out. They assured me that as long as we're able to capture some data, at least 30 minutes of data in the beginning of the route, then it's usable. So that's what they did. Instead of trying to get a full hour in during the route, they focused on a solid 30 minutes of good data they could use. For example, there was rain uh, around the noontime and it cooled off downtown when I was walking around taking thermal images. So they removed those from the data to make sure that it doesn't skew the model. So with the data they were able to collect, they feel confident confident that it will be enough once the results come in. So um, the consultant Kappa Strategies assures us that we have enough usable data for the model to be able to um, account for the urban heat island effect. So we're, we're confident even though we didn't get uh, Friday's temperatures, those triple digit heat indices, um, that it's still usable information that will help us make decisions for the future and to be able to have that uh, literal heat map around Oklahoma City. Now, the preliminary data will be in in the next six to eight weeks with the full analysis in about three to four months. Sarah says her team will then present the data to city council in efforts to cool off the hottest areas around the city. 